he did it for the nookie yeah he did it. yeah I, I wrote that down in my notes and i was like that's gonna be so funny Episode seven, the conclusion. Why seven episodes? Is there seven revelations? I think there's, and I don't, I don't know this for sure, but I think there's seven books or something in the Bible, which is weird because that's like a book already. Mm-hmm. But there's, I think there's seven short novellas within <laughs> the Bible. Okay that tell some sort of story so the bible is like a graphic novel or like a, a compilation yeah. a greatest hits yeah pretty much i would have to say word yeah. okay so seven makes sense now because yeah. i was like seven not eight weird and i guess like seven's like a a big number to them i guess because of like seven days in the week and Oh, yeah, it took Jesus seven days to come back. No, three days. Something about God God chose seven days of the week, which is just like, I don't know. Whatever. It's all lies. It doesn't matter. It is. They just made that shit up because kids were asking questions. Even my fucking notes don't make sense. (laughs) Great. It's okay. I I have two pages. Whoa, all right. I have a third grader's paragraph. It's okay. These things happen. Um, yeah, so Beverly takes over for Monsignor. Mm-hmm. Um, baby moms. I refer to her as baby moms throughout my notes, but it's the doctor's mom. Mm-hmm. Um, wakes up as a vampire and Pruitt wakes up and he's healed and he's like what the fuck did i do like he's Mm -hmm. like he like resurrects and he's like wow i've uh really sinned a lot here that's fucking crazy um Mm -hmm. damn and then the survivors realize they need to contain the situation um it kind of seems like they realize that like we're probably not getting off this island alive but Mm -hmm. we need to make sure no one else fucking leaves if it's the last thing we do yeah dude any murder could be solved so fast with those three yeah like they were just like wow that was intense anyways they're going to use the boats to get off the island so we need to go ahead and burn those and then um come up with another plan because we're not going to survive this it was just like so fast like the doors opened they ran out them and they had this plan yeah it was just like oh okay that came real fucking easy almost like it was written yeah Yeah. (laughs) Aaron Green is the real MVP. Hmm. Um, But yeah, uh, I love because they're, I don't know whose house they're at, but Beverly, like she obviously sees them escape and um, she's like, well, I'll just be five minutes behind you. Hmm. And then Aaron, someone, I forget who shoots her, but they're like, bye, bitch. We have five minutes. Aaron. Um, Yeah. Aaron shoots her. And then, uh, (laughs) Flynn's mom or Riley's mom goes out for her to be like a um, distraction Mm -hmm. um, because they're setting the whole entire fucking town on fire at this Mm -hmm. point which well not at that point at that point they had only set Aaron's house on fire to get her out oh yeah that's true and they decided to set the whole town on fire but yeah yeah that scene was funny because she comes out she's like no I got some words for her anyways and she comes outside and she's like you're not a nice person and I thought that that's where it was going to end like I thought that's all she had to say and I was like okay uh because she there's like a long pause Mm -hmm. and then then she like goes into her spiel but like at first I was like that's that's it that's all you got for her was like you're not a nice person I loved what the fuck she said to her. She was mm-hmm. like, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but she's yeah. like, God loves everybody, not just you. Yeah, and yeah. you're so offended by the fact that God loves other people mm-hmm. too. And I'm just like, yes, put her in her fucking place. Because there's so many person. people like that. Yes. Truly, too many in this fucking world. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, she buys the gang some time and then 
Father Paul or Pruitt, John Pruitt, um, hooks back up with his baby mama. Well, they don't hook up, but they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hanging out. Chatting. They're chilling. They're chilling. Yeah. They're yeah. They're they're posted up, chilling, yeah. chilling yeah. in the spot. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he reveals his like intentions in mm-hmm. bringing the vampire back with him, mm-hmm. and he did it for the nookie. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. I I wrote that down in my notes, and I was like, "That's gonna be so funny <laughs> when we do this." Uh, I'll cut in Limp Bizkit real quick in the edit. Um, Bless you. Uh, yeah, I when he initially says that, where he's like, "Cause again, like his speech pattern and everything, which makes him so good, because he stumbles over things, which makes it feel real, mm-hmm. but also like." when he said it initially i was like you lying you're that's like your cop out like oh i did it for you baby yeah yeah no you didn't you did it for all these other reasons that you've been saying the whole time yeah but because she's sitting next to you it was for her yeah but then i do believe him i believe him after Uh, yeah i i believe him too and i really like the way he just speaks like very like melodically and I feel like a lot of the characters do mm-hmm. in the show. Yeah. And it's just like, I feel like Joe and maybe even Riley were like probably the only ones that didn't like, like speak like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Outside of those two and Pruitt's outburst uh, of anger, everybody else is very monotoned, very like emotionless, not emotionless, but yeah, very monotone, like yeah, very relaxed the whole time. Yeah. That's just another thing that makes this show fucking different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Then Beverly decides to just burn the whole fucking town down because mm-hmm. she's she's just fucking power tripping at this mm-hmm. point. She's mm-hmm. like, I already set this house like house on fire. Let's do it everywhere else. And mm-hmm. the only place of refuge will be our place. Well, my place, the rec center mm-hmm. that I'm so fucking proud of. Yeah. And um, yeah, Flynn's parents reunite mm-hmm. and they're they're chit-chatting and <laughs> Yeah, 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 they do that. They're just chatting casually. Yeah. Um, and they realize like neither of them have killed anybody. And they realize that, like, you know, the others just kind of gave into it a little too easily. Mm-hmm. And that just, that speaks not only, like, to their character and, like, how solid they are, but, like, to everyone else's character, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the gang burns down the boats. And, um... By that time, the whole island is on fire, essentially. Um, And then, you know, she's like, all right, let's get, let's call them all back. Let's get them here so the sun can come up. And, uh, you know, we see the Sharif uh, trying to burn down the rec center and she shoots him in the stomach, which is... I don't think that she's smart enough to know, but that is the shittiest thing you can do to somebody is shoot them in the stomach because it takes so long to die. It is extremely painful. Um, Like being shot anywhere else, it it sucks, but you can survive a lot unless, unless it's in your head, but it's over quick then and in your chest, same way. But you get shot in the stomach, it just, it destroys you. And I don't think she's smart enough to do that, but, huh? Are are you speaking from experience? No, I've never been shot in the stomach. I was like, wait, did I miss some? I was like, what? Okay. No, not not in the stomach. Really solemn about it. Um, No, I just, I happen to know that. Like, uh, you know, she wasn't really aiming at him so much. She just kind of like... She shot him in the leg while aiming and then just kind of was holding the gun and pulled the trigger and got him in the stomach. And yeah. that, and you see he like survives a period of time afterwards and then he just falls over. Um, 
and that that really sucked but uh then aaron gets it too which you know you're desperately hoping that somebody is going to survive this and i don't give shit if the kids survive like i wanted aaron to survive like they could have they could have killed them two kids and it would have made no difference to me the show wouldn't have changed at all to me they were very whatever word i'm trying to think of but yeah so she gets it and you know she makes peace with it really really fast and she starts that monologue and it is so beautiful it is so perfect like again I can't speak highly enough of the writing on this show like I watched it and I was like wow and I watched it again and the whole time she's got the knife and she's like poking into the wings of the vampire and she even like sexily like pulls his head back in I was like whoa calm down like yeah that was like bad bitch Mm -hmm. bad bitch alert I was like all right girl yeah you're you're committing to this like yeah I mean like I get it she's trying to distract him with the blood so she can continue to do it but she didn't need to be so hot about it I know Um, yeah that was it was very seductive yeah yeah but yeah so anyways um that yeah that monologue was really really good and you know it it finishes the the show should have stopped right there like the show should have just ended it really and, could have and it would have been fine yeah I, that would have been the ending because like going back to like because at that point you can assume the same things you can assume at the end they're all going to die and maybe the vampire got away i don't again i don't care about them kids in the rowboat so that could have been the ending and that that should have been it and they continued it out which was okay because you get to see john and his baby mama and you know they take doc down to the bridge and hang out with a dead body like that shit's normal Um, yeah and she's like and he goes will you forgive me i and i was like i to me like i know that they want like the forgiveness thing so that like you know they can move on in peace or whatever the case is but if I was the baby mama, I would have been like, that's my dead daughter right there. No, I don't fucking yeah. forgive you. Like, what? Like, she was, she was too, she was too easygoing about that. Like, I, she was just like, oh, shit, she's dead. Anyways, you want to go for a walk? Or, like, I just felt like she was very callous about her daughter dying. Like, she cried and stuff, but... Mm-hmm yeah that was that was that was weird to me i was like uh you yeah just, you just gonna make out with the guy that got your daughter killed okay cool, yeah. cool who cool, brought cool. all of this madness to the <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah i wouldn't have moved on from that so quick but i don't know i guess i guess because she knew that they were both about to die so she's like i don't want to die in an argument right now you know i don't want to go to bed i don't want to go to bed mad so yeah some shit like that i guess but yeah i loved i i did love seeing riley's parents come come together mm-hmm. and you know she starts singing to him mm-hmm. and that was fucking just really beautiful yeah. and all, the sheriff's son he's the one to set the um mm-hmm. the uh the Rec last Center. shelter on fire yeah. yeah and also fucking sturgill in this episode that's when like everyone's like coming back to the rec center and people are like they got turned and they weren't necessarily like members of the congregation but they're like i just i'm so fucking confused right now i'm really hurt <laughs> and yeah. like that that really tugged at my heartstrings because like she's just acting like that one guy i forget his fucking name but he owns like a mega church and he never lets people in oh, the joel olstein guy yeah it just reminded me of that fucking guy she's like no fuck off yeah and um i thought that guy was r-worded at first like when they first show that guy that sturgill turned mm -hmm. he's standing there and he's going like this and i i guess it's because he's scared and i was like oh shit did they turn an r-word is that what's getting is this the conversation that we're gonna have to have right now 
and then luckily he was just scared and like yeah you know he killed his wife or whatever but i was like whoa this is taking an odd turn right now like yeah don't go down that road please (laughs) yeah can we not go there yeah We've yeah. done everything else. Like we've dealt with race and classism. And 9-11, and, like yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about it. Like yeah. so many conversations in this series. But yeah, it just like I don't know, because it kind of seemed like the island was so small that everyone in that congregation, like it seemed as though that was it and that was mm-hmm. everybody on the island. But it turns yeah. out like there was a lot more people that were yeah. just fucking innocent and just minding their own goddamn business that got dragged into this shit mm-hmm. and, yeah we see yeah. those people being the first set of victims once they get left out or let out of yeah. the church they started attacking like you hear the screams from the houses and stuff um yeah i thought i thought that the ending of the show was really 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 good mm-hmm. um and the only reason i'm okay with it continuing after Aaron's death outside of John's John and his baby mama thing is um, we see the sheriff and his son go to the beach and start praying. We also see in the boat when the kids are in the boat, we, we hear the singing and then it stops when the sun rises. And I was like, fuck, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. That, that was, was really good yeah and it's all at once it's like perfect like just cut the sound and i was yeah. like okay i'll i'll allow it like yeah. you can you can air it okay i like, loved that i loved that so much it was yeah. just really fucking powerful yeah, yeah yeah and then they like look at each other like and they know that their families are fucking dead mm-hmm. and then she says i can't feel my legs Mm -hmm. she's like relieved yeah i mean if she can't feel her legs anymore then that must mean that the bloodline has been taken out which means Mm. the origin is gone yeah it's all all over i don't know what the fuck's gonna happen to them they're just floating in the middle of nowhere but well yeah they're probably not gonna survive i hope they don't because they don't matter but they're gonna get eaten by sharks yeah yeah exactly they don't even they didn't even bring a rum ham or anything but um they yeah there you go um but uh you like searched your brain for rum ham where do i know (laughs) rum ham from i was like that i know that from somewhere (laughs) uh but yeah I don't think that it was, I don't think it was that the bloodline had run out because the OG vampire, I think he gets away. I don't think so. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that is the symbolism of the, he didn't survive, but I think it's just because they didn't, they were, the microdose was wearing off. Yeah, that could be it too. Um, but when she says like she can't feel her legs like the other boy smirks and i'm like what kind of shit is you what kind of shit are you into bro <laughs> like, he like he kind of smiles at her like yeah that's awesome that's right girl i like caning legs or something like weird <laughs> some sh- weird shit okay so this is where i want to get back to sturgill he turns okay. into a weird creep and he's like hey kid you sad the kid's like yeah i think i killed my family he's like oh yeah yeah we all done things we ain't proud of come with me and it's like whoa what's what's happening right now what's this about <laughs> who the fuck are you like yeah. right now like, what? yeah and why was that even written into the show at all like why did you turn dumb dumb sturgill into a fucking child predator and then that storyline doesn't conclude at all it's just yeah. left open-ended and it's fucking weird and i it made me uncomfortable and i didn't like it it was completely unnecessary anyways yeah. i'm over one that. thing that i did notice when um the reverend or whatever he dies but as they're getting burnt up like right before he like rips off his like whatever mm-hmm. that is that white thing yeah rips that off and i was like tight yeah very tight. uh and then um cunt ass bitch cunt digs her grave Mm -hmm. and like mind you like she's the one that fucking sealed everybody's fate Mm -hmm. um she fucking did that yeah no one else (laughs) did that but her 
so at first i was like all right she's gonna she's gonna like like when she kneels down she sees them praying or whatever i'm like all right she's gonna you know she's gonna take her fate basically and then she starts digging i'm like ah you bitch like of yeah. course you do it of course you would Howard. yeah you like you deserve to live somehow um i do think that it was cool and a good thing that uh the sheriff died before the sun came up like you see him just kind of crumble over and fall down because then he would have to watch his son die twice already yeah. in the pain from the gunshots like he would have had to watch his son burn alive so that that probably worked out best for him i definitely agree with that because that would have been like really fucking devastating yeah. and then who knows how long he would have like you know what i mean yeah continue to bleed out for for yeah. sure yeah yeah he would have been like the third survivor he would have been like he was like oh i'm just on this island for now until yeah. like i catch some sort of infection and die like that would have been shitty it really would have sucked for him yeah i'm glad that there was some sort of like not justice for him but just like some sort of like peaceful yeah semi end it wasn't peaceful but yeah he got relief from yeah yeah overall a very tragic tale yeah of religion Mm -hmm. and fate and fucking vampires yeah yeah things that you don't really uh think go together but yeah yeah i I just really think that it was super ballsy to make the show i think it was super ballsy to do it and and not paint them in like with the righteous gemstones they show all the hypocrisies of like the joel olsteins with like the mega churches and millions of dollars but they do it in a fun way that also is kind of like it doesn't make it okay but it just like it shows you how shitty those people really are but they don't actually attack the religion they attack they attack the joel olsteins that are using the religion so it's like a step around so they're not technically offending any true religious people this episode they're like no fuck you i'm gonna tell you how it really is and i wonder how many like super religious people were like fuck this show you know like i wonder how many people actually got offended by it because they didn't pull punches they like went straight at them yeah they went straight for the fucking throat yeah yeah exactly uh and i'm glad they did and i loved it it was really good i'm glad you made me watch it again because I hadn't watched it in, well, since like 2020 or whenever it came out, October. Yeah. So it had been a while. And I was like, very shocked that this was the one that you chose over Hill House. And now I'm like, yeah, no, this was the right choice. This is a it's, good. Yeah, it was so good. I, um, I, I had a thought to like, because the name of the island is like Crockett Island. Mm-hmm. So I was like, is there symbolism behind that? I know Davy Crockett's a person. I just looked him up. I don't think there is one. So, we but both. yeah, a really just such a fucking powerful show. Yeah, it really and is. I love, I love Mike Flanagan's work so much. Um, and I love, I love Kate Siegel and I love Henry Thomas. Yeah, they just, they kill it every fucking time. Mm-hmm. 